in Georgetown at a new photography exhibit that is showcasing some never before seen photos from Seattle's grunge scene, including Chris Cornell, Pearl Jam, and a lot of Alice in Chains. We will have more on that in just a second, but first, some modern day Alice in Chains. Of course, they just played an historic concert at the Space Needle, and Jim was there. Hey, Jimmy. That's right, Kim, and it all happened 500 feet above the streets of Seattle. Alice in Chains. They've played gigs for nearly 30 years, but Alice in Chains drummer Sean Kinney says this one is a first. Over the career of the band, we've been able to pretty much play everywhere that's existed. You could play here. There's one place you couldn't, so when we were going to do all this stuff for the record up here in Seattle, I was like, you know, what about the Space Needle? The band is back in their hometown this week, promoting their first studio album in five years. It's called Rainier Fog. Are you excited about the new album? Yeah, I just want it out, you know, it's like, it's not new to us. Like I said, we made it a year or so ago, so it's new for other people, so we just want people to hear it, do with it what they will, you know, love it, hate it, whatever you do. You know, obviously we like it, we made it, so that's another victory as far as I'm concerned for us, that we're still together and that all we've been through and that we still make music for the same reasons that we started. Not many bands could have survived the upheaval Alice in Chains has been through in their long career, but like their music, they plan to keep on rocking for a long time. You know, a fad or a trend can die, but the music's kind of lived on and that doesn't always happen. That's, that really comes down to people on their own and, you know, fans. Thank you, Jimmy. You can hear that entire performance from The Needle on Sirius FM next Friday, August 31st. And this Friday, Alice in Chains is playing at White River Amphitheater. Well, this photography exhibit here in Georgetown is sort of vintage Alice in Chains. It's part of a grunge retrospective. And many of these images came from negatives that the photographer had never printed before. A quarter century after the camera clicked, these images of rock icons are seeing the light of day. None of these have been seen. These are all never been seen. Photographer Paul Hernandez was immersed in Seattle's grunge scene. All these beautiful men with these beautiful voices all came to earth at the same time in the same city. And she's like, okay, how's this happen? Alice in Chains was the first band he shot after seeing them perform. I had to pull my pants back on because it was completely blown off. What was left of them, it was almost locomotive-like. It was powerful, it was coming at you. Inspiring this now famous background of train tracks, Paul went on to shoot Mother Love Bone, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, and Duff McKagan. But his closest connection was with his first subjects, particularly frontman Lane Staley. This is an amazing photo. Lane was an old soul. He's an, he's an angelic human being. He's the only angelic man I've ever met. Losing people is not an easy thing for me. And that's one reason he packed away his negatives. Many of these images were never printed until Paul went back into a dark room and hand developed them for this retrospective called Stargazing. We're losing our soul here. Music is such a foundation here. He hopes this first look at decades old moments will offer a look back and a way forward. To remember where we came from, what we were, who we were. These guys took over the world, this music. You can check out Stargazing right here at Mainframe Gallery through October 17th. We have all of the information on our website, king5evening.com.